from Dr. Adarsh Gupta. I uh, did my uh, residency training from uh, NYU, which is a rich program for psychoanalysis, biological psychiatry, and research. And uh, I was very passionate from the very beginning to make the connection between uh, psychological processes and, and the brain. So after doing my uh, NYU uh, residency, I went on to do my brain imaging fellowship at uh, Mount Sinai Hospital. And that was followed by doing a couple of other fellowships in psychosomatic medicine and, and the last one in uh, neuropsychiatry from Harvard Medical School. And that was uh, 1997 when uh, Alvaro Pasculin joined the department and he was actually doing his first studies on the use of TMS uh, with treatment of depression. So I was lucky to be there at that time. During my last year of training at Harvard Medical School, interestingly, Dr. Uh, Alvaro Pasculion, who is the main person who did his first treatment studies on TMS with depression, he was doing it in the year 1997. And I was lucky to observe him doing this, but after I left that place and uh, I was into practice and doing other things, it was always in mind how we can use this technology to uh, work on the brain circuits to improve the treatment outcomes. And uh, it was difficult in the beginning. It, uh, the study was, the treatment was approved in 2008. And, um, but at that time, any of the insurances were not paying for it. You know. And also, there was a kind of apprehension whether it will work or not. But in last five to eight years, it seems like almost all insurances are paying for it. And we have encouraging data from research and clinical experience that it actually works. And there's a lot more patients accepting the TMS treatment for depression, you know. So I started TMS into my office practice just two years ago, and I'm really very rewarded to have this in my practice, you know. TMS is, is one of the uh, main uh, treatment tools we have, which can, um, help with the treatment of depression. And as we know, patients who have depression or specially treatment resistant depression, they have uh, hypometabolism or, or, or uh, less active frontal lobes. And their limbic areas or the emotional part of the brain is overly active. So in some ways, the TMS treatment is able to uh, readjust the circuits and have the better of mood regulation. You know. And of course, TMS has many other benefits depending on where we are targeting the networks. You know. So I do find that those patients in my practice who did not respond after first, second, or third psycho, uh, psychopharmacological interventions or psychotherapy, this is another major tool which I offer to, to my patients. You know. and, and the experience has been very rewarding in most of the patients. You know. My experience with this TMS uh, has been a little slow in the beginning, um, uh, but as I'm able to uh, use the TMS with the increasing number of patients and, and uh, been able to offer not only just TMS, but also incorporate some other things along with the TMS, like helping them with the getting into daily routines, helping them to focus on uh, uh, doing regular exercises, helping them to uh, focus on their, what they have to do in their, uh, in their life towards their meaningful work. I find they get more motivated to engage in the treatment. I also find uh, the results are much better over the last uh, six months to a year as I'm combining TMS with psychotherapy and all other wellness factors. You know. Yeah, so that was a tough decision to choose. There are about seven systems now in the market to which one to choose. I almost spent a year uh, to select uh, one of the systems. And one of the key features I used, uh, I decided for choosing uh, the Apollo system, was that the coil itself uh, is uh, very low in terms of its noise production, and patients are able to tolerate that very well. You know. And also, the coil is very slick. It is not as bulky like many other systems, so that makes it a lot more easier for me and my technicians to use this coil. You know. And then the whole look of this Apollo system is, is very um, uh, nice and it is, it's more like a spa-like look to my office and it is not intimidating like some of the big systems, you know. 
and I would really kind of um, compliment the Apollo team support in terms of the technical uh, advice, in terms of the anything to improve the uh, uh, you know ongoing wor working with the Apollo system. They have been excellent, you know. So I'm very happy with the Apollo systems. You know. Well, as of now, we are recommending. To, uh, TMS mostly for the treatment resistant depression because that's what insurances are approving. But I do see that TMS has wide open applications in treating the patients with uh, high anxiety disorders. It is already approved for OCD. Uh, there are a lot of studies indicating use of TMS in PTSD, pain syndromes, fibromyalgia. But right now we are mainly using for treatment resistant depression patients.